Hello, Red Bay. So today's bedtime story is called Simon's Sock and it's written by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. Simon is extremely stripy. He lives in the sock drawer with all the other socks. It's very cosy in there. Every morning, all the socks in the drawer get very excited. Who will it be today? Then in comes the hand. Pick me! Pick me! Everybody waits, holding their breath. And two socks get picked to go on an adventure. The sparklies go to parties. The woolies go to the park. The smarts go to school. And the sporkies go for the bird. Ready, steady, go! Everyone has a turn. Everyone except Simon. I'm not a smelly socks and I'm not a holy sock. Why don't I ever have a turn? Because you're odd, says Spotty. The other Spotty agrees. Yes, you only get picked if you're a pair. Oh, I didn't realise I was odd, said Simon. Maybe the Spotties are right, if only I was a pair. We could skate, we could bounce, we could hula, we could have so much fun, said Simon sadly. I've got it, shouts Ted, jumping to his feet. Pop! I've got a friend and he's stripy just like you, Simon. Come on, he lives in the hall. Simon, this is Alphonse. Alphonse, this is Simon. And everything was going well until in what Petra. Oh, silly me, said Ted. I forgot they were already a pair. Don't worry though, Simon, I have another stripy friend. Simon, meet Shirley, said Ted hopefully. Sss. Shirley was very excited, but Simon was a little bit nervous. I'm not sure about this, Ted, said Simon. Oh dear, look what's happened to the sock. Poor sock, has been, he's, he's getting squeezed by the snake. What about Desmond, said Ted. But Desmond just stared. He's not very chatty, is he, said Simon. No, not really, replied Ted. But we can't give up now. I have lots of stripy friends. What about... Bobby! But I can't swim, whispered Simon. Deborah, the stripy bug. She's very tiny, Ted. I might step on her. What about Jeff, said Ted. He's very musical. He's very noisy. Hattie? Too chatty. Trevor? No way. Well, you'll be pleased to know I've saved the best until last, said Ted proudly. Simon, meet Mr. Twinkle Paws. No! Simon had had enough. It's no good, Ted. I just need to get used to being an odd sock, he said sadly. But then he heard a voice. It was coming from under the drawers. Hello? Simon couldn't believe it. I found you, he cried. We're a pair. We can skate. We can bounce. We can hula. Come on, said Simon, and let's go out and play. But Simon had other ideas. Oh, I like going out, said a voice. Betty gave Simon a wave. Simon waved back. I like playing, said Betty. So they skated and they bounced and they hula hooped. Everyone had to admit 
that even though they didn't match, they really did make a great pair. The end. Good night.